Another variation we can take um, would be something like this. If HC has a pH of 3.72 when it's 0.003% dissociated, find the concentration of HZ, its molarity, and Ka. Um, as always, ignore the question. As soon as we know it's a weak acid, it's another made up weak acid, we can dissociate it We can start an ice chart, and then you might feel a little stuck because we don't have a number to put here. We don't have a number to put here, but I actually want to still do my ice chart anyways. So normally you think, oh, if I don't know something, put an X there, but we know that we use X's in the change row. So I'm going to call it M for molarity, basically, knowing that it's representing the concentration of the acid that we're starting with. It would then be minus x, and then we know x is really small compared to m, whatever that number is. 0, 0, plus x, plus x. That side should feel familiar. So I'm only doing this, I'm using m as another variable because I don't have the concentration of HD. Um, I also can set up my Ka, products over reactants. And you might kind of have, you might have felt out the pattern for this already. Um, know that when we're giving partial credit, there is a point for this, um, for this setup. Plugging in our x's, x times x gets me x squared over m. That m came from here. I don't have, normally I have a number there, here I don't. Okay, so I have my Ka. Um, I also, I go and I look, they give me a pH, I have it, I don't know, I'm going to skip that. They give me a percent dissociation, so here, I'm going to separate that out. I also know that my percent dissociation is kind of a formula that I can write out, where it's the amount that dissociated over the amount we started with times 100. So I have these two formulas, and X and M are both my unknowns, um, but they've given me two numbers here. So I just have to figure out what I can do with each one. Um, the percentage can be plugged in here. The pH is not a molarity. pH is not the same thing as molarity. But I do know that 10 to the negative pH gives me H plus molarity. Um, so doing that here, 10 to the negative 3.72 gets me my H plus concentration. 1.91 times 10 to the negative 4. That is not my M. If I go here, M is the concentration of HZ. H plus is represented by X. So this is my X value. I now have my X value and I have my percentage. I can plug in here to solve. Plug my percent in. Plug my X over the molarity of the acid that I don't know, times 100. So I'm solving this now because I have enough information. So I take my 0 0.003, I divide by 100. Um, in your, if you're doing that in your calculator, you get 3 times 10 to the negative 5. Yep. Equals 1.91 times 10 to the negative 4th over m. Put that over 1 and cross multiply. So 3 times 10 to the negative 5 times m equals 1.91 times 10 to the negative 4. Divide by that 3 times 10 to the negative 5. And for my molarity, For my molarity, I get 6.35. That's what I got for M. M represented the concentration of HZ. This is my answer for part A. Part B wants my Ka value. Well, here I have my X value that I can plug in. It says to square it over my M value that I just found. Sorry, I'm getting a little squished there. 
but I'm doing 1.91 times 10 negative fourth squared divided by 6.35. And for my Ka for part B, I get, I have that over here actually, 5.7 times 10 to the negative 9. There are no units on Ka. The units here are molarity. That's it.